When Wuwa released Ray Tracing, I knew that this new feature would turn this game from this into this. It's such an amazing upgrade in graphics that it makes your game really look and feel different. Such an amazing upgrade must come at a cost, right? Well, if you have an RTX 4000 series NVIDIA graphic card to unlock the ability to enable ray tracing, then you're good to go. Since I don't have an RTX 4000 series graphic card, I don't even have a proper screenshot to show these features in action, unfortunately. With it being tied to the RTX 4000 series, we must be screwed, right? Time to wait X amount of time for Coral Games to extend ray tracing to other graphic cards. Personally, I have an AMD graphic card, so I guess I'm just shit out of luck. Well, I remembered. I'm a computer science major. There must be something that I can do. Well, if the RTX 4000 series had this enabled, then there must mean that there are parameters set somewhere in the game's files to keep it enabled. After doing some research, I came across this wonderful Reddit article that was discussing just that. My name is Void Enigma, and I'll be doing a quick guide on how to enable ray tracing on any device. Well, any PC for that matter. It's crazy to think that Wuthering Waves is racist. That's not how you use the word. But having ray tracing on every single device would be a wonderful feature, so I'm hoping that this is implementable without this workaround that we have here. Before we begin, I want to make a very clear disclaimer. Based on my research, modifying these files does not explicitly violate Wuthering Wave's terms of use, but Kuro Games reserves the right to take action at their discretion. Because we are going in a roundabout way to turn on feature that is already in the game, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you will be fine if you follow these instructions, but do this at your own risk. Another disclaimer, this tutorial are for people who are confident that their graphics card can handle ray tracing. It can be very graphically intensive and may make your computer really heat up, so just be careful when you actually use this. If you have a mid-tier device, it might not even be worth doing. If you feel like you cannot enable this feature, then do not even attempt it. This process is quick and it's easily disabled as well. And in case you're following along, you're not sure how to disable it, I have included a method to disable it at the end of this video. Without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty, so firstly, in order to get ray tracing turned on, we are going to be doing two things. We will be adding a few lines to the script in the in-game directory via notepad, and then we will be enabling those lines in a database within the game's directory. We will not be adding any new files, nor will we be making any drastic changes. Firstly, you'll want to navigate to your C drive, Withering Waves, or for that matter, anywhere where Withering Waves is installed, Withering Waves Game, Client, Saved, Configure, Windows, No, Editor. The file that we want to find in here is engine.ini. Open this notepad, and you'll want to paste the following at the very bottom like so. This is in the description, so feel free to copy and paste it. After that, save it, and you're done. Don't edit anything else here, of course, and just leave that portion on. Next, navigate to C drive, or of course, wherever you have Wuthering Waves installed. Wuthering Waves, Wuthering Waves game, client saved local storage. The file that we want in here is called localstorage.db. You will need a program to edit the database in this file to turn on the ray tracing. I use this little thing here, database browser for SQL Lite, and that's also going to be linked in the description. So right click, hit open with, and find that database viewer that you actually downloaded and installed. You cannot change or alter anything in here while Withering Waves is open, so make sure that Withering is closed before you even open this file. From here, you'll want to go to Browse Data, and then you want to go to Find in any column section and type in Ray Tracing. There are the values that should be here. Make sure ray tracing is set to 3 and the other options are set to 1. In order to save these changes, you're going to want to actually hit write to file or write changes and this will make sure that ray tracing is enabled in your game. Firstly, this will only work when you launch the game through the launcher. If anyone finds out how to make it work without the launcher, please let me know because I opened WooWa with the direct game exe file. In order to turn this on and off, you will need to restart Wuthering Waves twice. Remember that. When you open up the Wuthering Waves launcher, make sure to turn off this DirectX 11 because ray tracing will not work with this being enabled. Once you hit start game, then the game should actually start to recompile the shaders, and if it did that, then you know that you've done it correctly. 
However, ray tracing won't actually be turned on. You'll have to restart it twice. You'll need two reboots if you actually want to turn it off or turn it on, so keep that in mind. Now there is one bug that I've actually come across. When you close the game via Alt F4, the game actually stays open. You'll have to actually go in and right click and end the task to actually close the game. That is a major annoyance, but it is a trade-off I guess to get ray tracing working in game. Again, if you found a fix, let me know down in the comments. After the second and third boot up, of course, you will notice that ray tracing is on, and we don't have an RTX 4000's graphic card. Honestly, seeing the game through this scope is amazing. I can see the reflections in the water, and while overall it might not feel like much of a change, the subtlety of the perfect depictions and the visuals is amazing. If you run into any issues, then you can attempt to change these values to 1 instead of 3, but that's really all there is to it. How to change it back now. Let's talk about that. Go back to the local storage, search for the filters of ray tracing, and turn all of the values to 0, then hit write to file. Next, let's go back to the engine.ini file located here, open up the file with the notepad, and delete the last six lines, and then save the file. And there, it is disabled, and we are back to our original settings. That's all there is to it to enable the option. It really makes me wonder why this isn't enabled off rip, because to be honest, with such an easy implementation, this should definitely be an option in the future. Minus the weird non-closing bug. This has a bright outcome for the future though, because this means that it should be enabled by default in the future, or give us the option to enable it in the future. Or at least, that's my hope for it. Fair warning, if these steps do not work for you, then I probably can't solve it. Make sure that you follow these steps closely, and be careful not to blow up your device if you're using a low-end device and can't handle the ray tracing. If this guide helped you, drop a like and subscribe for more enigmatic content. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Void Enigma, and until next time, Enigma out.